I am in Scranton, Pennsylvania in the Dockmobile with uh, my caregiver wife Vicki who's in there somewhere and uh, Chance K9 Doc. And my, here's what we're trying to do with the Defender of Caregivers Challenge channel and my overall mission. What the Defender of Caregivers channel is all about and my mission is that uh, there is a thing known as the caregiver personality and I'm gonna do a specific video on the caregiver personality but if you want to learn more about that go to caregiverpersonality.com uh, it's Myers-Briggs it's uh, some real stuff so we've got the caregiver personality we've got cognitive distortions which is stinking thinking patterns that people fall into when they're under stress and caregivers are chronically under stress because they're living two lives. They're living their own life and they're living the lives of the people they serve. And they do that over and over and over again. And the last thing is communication. How can we, you, everybody communicate better with caregivers to help avoid the caregiver distortion uh, phenomenon that goes on? And for me, the vehicle for that is humor all my life let humor work uh, I did comedy back in the 80s I was once voted as one of Baltimore's funniest young comedians in 1986 <laughs> and then I retired from comedy quote-unquote uh, to go into healthcare and have had some success and all the time whenever I had success making a change in an organization or with relationships it was because of my ability to let humor work. Humor uh, because it is a shared uh, phenomenon I call it a I refer to it as a healthy understanding of moments others recognize or reject if we're laughing together we have a relationship and a shared understanding of what's going on what I've learned is that uh, the use of humor is very effective uh, in in and and but but not trying to be funny just allowing funny things to occur being open to the idea of laughing and having fun you know even a fake smile uh, can start to change the way you feel about things and comedy to be a good stand-up comic, which I'm not suggesting that I am, bah -bah, but it's always been a passion of mine. In comedy, you have to very quickly, very succinctly, and, in a, and very efficiently in how you use your words, make it so that people can understand, recognize what you're saying. So I find comedy so... Uh, uh, exhilarating to perform and to perform well I mean when you connect with an audience it's an amazing feeling but what I'm learning through comedy is how to communicate more effectively more succinctly how to go into a situation and allow yourself to be understood uh, so that others can join you and uh, feel like they're part of something and that we're working on something together. I'm trying to learn how to communicate better with caregivers and how to allow caregivers to uh, embrace humor and caregiver leaders, oh my word. People go into careers like nursing because they want to serve others and then they find often that the professional work environment and the, and the need uh, for these environments to be profitable takes away a lot of the satisfaction and joy that uh, they seek by entering the profession. So again, my message is let humor work. Uh, you can become a satisfaction haven where in addition to uh, an income and a living, you can provide and allow people to get the satisfaction that they seek. So that's it for now. My name is uh, Lon Kiefer. I'm known as the Defender of Caregivers, uh, and I believe in you, and I want to encourage everyone to let humor work. Please like and share this video. Find us at DefenderOfCaregivers.com. Uh, CaregiverPersonality.com uh, is where you should start, and um, hope you'll stay with us, hope you'll share this, and uh, thank you for caring.